why stay and not go? Um, I stayed because it was the best decision for um, myself and my family. And um, it was better for the team. Um, with the team we got coming back and the additions that we got this year, um, we're going to have a great chance to make a run um, this season. Um, it makes it better opportunity, better opportunity for me um, as far as in the future in my career. How difficult was it? How much did you think about it even towards the end of the season and, you know, and, and just the last couple of days? How difficult has it been for you? Um, it was tough because uh, it, I was wavering because of my in, injury that I had in the season. Uh, a lot of a lot of scouts and everything didn't get a chance to really evaluate me like they could, and uh, it, the injury held me back a lot. So I mean, with the, with uh, me being healthy now and um, being able to come back another year and improve and um, get better as a basketball player and as a person, um, it allowed me to um, uh, eventually rise my stock more. Did the fear of possibly another injury play into maybe I should go kind of thing? Um, no, nah, I mean, whether, uh, injuries are going to happen regardless whether you stay or if I leave. I mean, if I went to the NBA this year, I could possibly get injured. So um, it was just all, um, all about um, the confidence in myself, uh, getting my body back right, um, getting healthy, and then allow myself to come out and play as hard as I can. Adonis, how close was it? When you, when you sit down now and break it down, how close were you to saying – you know, I need to go to the NBA. How close did it come down? To um, in the beginning, um, I seen a lot of guys in my class that were declaring for the draft, and uh, it made me feel like that um, those guys were doing it. So uh, and that's something that I should really look forward to um, to doing. But um, I mean, from the from the sources um, and getting information from uh, people, different people, it was best for me to come back next year and then um, try to really um, prove myself. And um, it was a lot of unfinished business that I didn't take care of this year with the injury. And um, I think that uh, next year would be a better chance for me. You relieved to have this over with now? Uh, yeah, I'm glad uh, that I'll be in the Tiger uniform again. Uh, they'll be able to see me play more this year. Uh, I only played uh, half a season last year, so I missed, I mean, the whole conference regular season, uh, a lot of conference tournament. Then I, um, we didn't do um, what we expected in the uh, tournament. So. This um this year will be a, a greater chance for uh, the fans and everybody in the city to uh, get a chance to see me play. Well, now let's talk about the "Don't be a fool, stay in school" graphic that's been floating around. Um, uh, that's a, this is gonna be a great thing for any any athlete athlete. So uh, it's always great to get your degree and uh, graduate from college. So that's something that people are always gonna say. So it's just the best um thing that for that's for your family. Well, honest, being a being a Memphis <coughs> and always wanting to wear this uniform. How much did that play in it and, and knowing that you were staying in your hometown school, a lot of people were waiting on this decision and that because you got, how important was it to be a Memphis kid to kind of stay and as you said, to, to, to work on some unfinished business? Um, well, yeah, like you said, I, um, it's a lot of unfinished business that I need to take care of here and um, I, I felt like I owe um, the city uh, another year to um, improve and to allow them to see how what type of player I was. and. Um, the injury just really held me back this year. Um, I wasn't able to play. I wasn't able to be a part of the team for a while. I was just um, sitting on the sidelines. So I just um, thank God that I get another opportunity and I'm allowed to play again. Did you get the sense from people in your community, just walking the streets, that they were kind of teetering on, man, this is going to be really bad if we lose both Adonis and Will. Did you get that sense that everybody was waiting on your decision to whether or not they could smile for next year or be bummed about next year? Yeah, um, I mean, Will did made a great decision. He had, he had no choice but to leave uh, with the season he had. And um, for me, um, I was it was kind of iffy for me. So, I mean, I, I think the fans pretty knew that, pretty much knew that I, I should stay. But um, on the other hand, it was fans that were questionable about my decision. So, uh, now that they know, it's going to be great for the fans. And uh, I'm, I'm glad to wear the uniform, like I said, and it's going to be a great season next year. What, was the, what were your sources telling you you might go? What was the range that you might that you heard? Um, I mean, it came from uh, the first round to early second round. And then it came, a lot of sources said that uh, with not me uh, having much exposure, that it could drop. So, I mean, I didn't want to be one of those guys that took a chance and then um, were disappointed at the end. Um, I had a lot of confidence in myself, even if I did go to the draft, that I was going to do great. But I just didn't want to take a, take a chance. I just want to make uh, make it for sure that if I get in the draft, that I'm going to get drafted, and it's going to be a spot that I want to be in. Obviously, you're, you're a team guy first, but is, is, do you feel like it's a realistic goal for you to get into the lottery next year? 
Yeah, um, I mean, the lottery is a dream come true for a basketball player, and uh, that's my goal. I mean, I want to I wanna play as hard as I can, do everything that I'm expected of doing. That way I put my position, put myself in a position where I can go lottery next year. You talk to you and your, and your folks uh, about how many different sources you think you talked to. Uh, it was countless. I mean, coach got in touch with a lot of people, and um, the feedback from from those guys that uh, he relayed to me was um, it was it's very so. It was so much information, and uh, I just put it all together, and uh, this was the best decision. Will stepping in with Will, oh, Adonis with Will leaving, do you feel extra pressure to to kind of be a leader on this team? And, you know, not just scoring and stuff like that. You're such a team guy, but do you realize the pressure that you're going to be under to kind of pick up some of the points and things that Will did last year? Yeah, um, I mean, Will did a great job. He was a, a one of a, one of the leaders on this team last year. But I think maybe before my injury um, and, and um, coming into the season, going along with it, I was going to I was going to eventually be that leader on this team, one of the leaders on this team. But um, like I said, the injury just did so much uh, for me, and um, I wasn't able to really expose myself um, to the team as much as I uh, wanted to. So um, with me being healthy and now, I'll be able to um, really influence guys to do better. And um, we got we to gotta get ready starting um, as soon as possible. Um, even though school is still in, the season not in, we got to get ready, um, get our bodies right, get in the gym and stay uh, stay healthy. What did your teammates say? Um, I, haven't, I haven't really told my teammates um, that I was staying. Um, they were still iffy about what I should do. So. Uh, hopefully they'll know now. If not, they'll know from a social network. <laughs> Adonis, she said you felt like you owed it to the city of Memphis to come back with, with to take care of some unfinished business. That's not something we hear a lot. Where does that come from? I mean, is that just city pride or what else is talking? Yeah, it's just um, me being um, a kid from Memphis playing for the Univers University of Memphis. So, um, it was, like I said, these guys um, recruited me to come here and play uh, for Memphis. and. Um, it was only got a chance to do half of it. And so um, just coming back, I'll be able to show a lot more. Um, and then hopefully we can um, win this season. Um, I want to win more. Um, uh, I'm a guy that's not used to losing. So I want to win, and uh, I take pride in winning. So hopefully this year we can get it done.